we go. Check, check. Broadcasting. Hello, welcome. My name is Chris. Thank you for tuning into the Detroit Arcade Club Twitch channel. On this very exciting Tuesday evening. We're just going to play a little Ninja Warriors to live in the spirit. This is Ninja Warriors on Super Nintendo, also known as Ninja Warriors again for Super Famicom. Uh, it was a Taito arcade game with a similar kind of super wide horizontal monitor setup as to uh, Darius. Um, and yeah, uh, there is a port of the arcade for PC Engine that is a great game. This one takes everything that was great about that game and uh, it makes it. Sorry, thanks Rick for letting me know. I'm having a hard time hearing me. I changed my audio setting here. Um, it makes it super awesome. It kind of turns it into like a proto character action game. Alright, I'm just gonna mess with my audio settings here. Hopefully, that should be huge increase in quality so yeah um natsume developed this it is a hidden gem i want to say it was like not easy to come by in north america at the time when it was out it might have been like a weird blockbuster rental exclusive or something like that which is why this cart isn't easy to find and if you do find it they're usually beat to crap because they got passed around a lot anyway Thanks for bearing with the slow intro. Enough talk. Let's rock. I'm super out of practice with this game uh, because while it seems super basic on the surface, you can actually do a lot of pretty sweet moves and some interesting combos. Um, it's tricky, but it's doable and it's really cool. Um, and each robot ninja fighter has its own play style. So uh, Kunoichi is kind of the classic character. Ninja can't even jump, but he has this dash attack. Yeah, exactly like Kagane. Um, but yeah, he's like the, the tank, and then this one is the prototype, unfinished, like berserker droid. Uh, and it's, it's basically the speed character. It's really fun. So I'm going to die a bunch, but we'll play all three characters and mess around with their moves. Oh, and like... Any other good 16-bit Natsume game, uh, like Wild Guns, for example, there's a really, really nice attention to detail in the artwork. Like, the backgrounds are so cool. The whole intro is super reminiscent of, like, a direct-to-video 80s, like, VHS movie about cyborg ninjas or something. It's, uh, it's got a cool vibe. And the music, of course, is sweet. <laughs> You don't get to demonstrate like some of the crazy combos you can pull off that early on because a lot of these guys only die in a few hits. Let's see if I can grab one of these guys and throw them up because you can destroy the backgrounds in certain areas. Ah oh, shit. Come over here. There we go. Boom. Little extra bonus. Try and find all the cool stuff in the background to break. Oh, shit. Um, Natsume just did uh, a remaster of Wild Guns, which is available on PS4, and it is so sweet. That game is really, really hard, but it's very fun. I would love to see this game get the same kind of treatment that that other one did. Wow. 
So, uh, like I mentioned, this is the North American version of this game, and I'll pause real quick. Interesting to note, and then I'll catch up, thank you for uh, commenting. Uh, it's interesting to note that in the original Super Famicom version, this fight right here, these little sort of hairy guys with the Vega Claws, they're not in the original Japanese game. In the original Japanese game, they were um, like these female ninja girls, and they were obviously women. And so I guess when this game went through localization, uh, a decision was made to replace those sprites with these hairy ass looking ugly dudes because they didn't want to give off the impression that um, they were uh, you know, advocating like women beating essentially. And this is not the first game to have an example of that from the localization process. Um, isn't there some history with the character Poison from Final Fight and the Street Fighter universe where um, like they gender bent the character so that it wouldn't be perceived as like hitting women or something. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but I feel like these are true-ish things. Have you ever played Undercover Cops? Dude, Undercover Cops is awesome. Um, whenever I talk to people about Irem, uh, R-Type is obviously the first game that comes up, but uh, Undercover Cops is a really good Irem beat-em-up, as is Ninja Baseball Batman. I wish that company made more beat-em-ups. Um, but yeah, the basic animation is definitely super similar to the arcade one. Like, this is a true 16-bit version of that arcade port on steroids. Like, just designed to be edgier and bigger. Um, some of these areas almost feel like they have, like, weird pixel art set pieces, which you'll see coming up in a little bit. So I haven't used my super weapon yet, and you can choose to finish a combo with a special attack, which burns a little bit of the meter. Um, I think each character has a standing and crouching variation of that, or you can burn the whole meter with like a huge AoE that knocks everybody back. All right. So, so when I was saying before that it feels like they're little set pieces, this is what I'm talking about. Like, oh shit, um, that awesome sun-bathed city in the background with huge, uh, misty, sort of humid-looking sun, and all these missiles falling. It's just like a sweet moment. I get my ass kicked. Oh yeah, and the missiles follow you in here. Damn. Oh shit. If you pay attention to the shadows, you won't get caught by them. Such a dramatic arena for a boss fight, it's so badass. All the commands for the special moves are pretty simple, but you have to have your rhythm on point. Well, that's a bummer. I couldn't get it to come out, but whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, those Irem artists that moved on to the Metal Slug team. I want to say they did, uh, was it Gun Force? I, I want to say it was called Gun Force and it had a sequel as well. Um, oh, damn. Uh, but yeah, it's like a very proto Metal Slug with a less stylized, like less cartoonish look, but still just sort of gritty diesel punk bosses and stuff like that. Just tons of detail in the animation. Iron was a good company. They made a lot of sweet, sweet games. Get my ass kicked. They did um, this platformer for Super Nintendo, which had a live action movie tie in. I, I think it was a direct to video movie uh, called Dino City. Uh, and I remember the game, I think I have it. Um, you were a kid who 
fell through a TV and went into a dinosaur world uh, with your sister. And you become friends with like punk rock dinosaurs that wear leather jackets and you ride around on their backs. Um, I remember renting that as a kid and it was a pretty cute, kind of fun action platformer game. Um, I tried playing it a couple of years ago and it was a little more boring than I remembered, but the movie, dude, I remember renting the movie and thinking like, this is weird because these two things are supposed to be related, but the game is so much better. <laughs> All right, I gotta burn that because I'm just getting wrecked. In this game, you definitely want to avoid getting uh, stuck in between guys on both sides of you. Like, those big groups can be so brutal. All right, this guy in the purple pants is very tough. This is, the, like, the first enemy in the game that takes a lot of extra hits and mixes up if he's trying to hit you high versus low. special attacks, that little flaming sword slide. Oh shit. Doing a shit job blocking. Have a computer. I'm just gonna try to shoot if I don't get to him. I don't think I have enough health to kill the boss, and I don't remember if they give you an energy pickup uh, for this one. God, I think I, I think I can throw someone into these pipes. Yes. Damn it. Why wasn't I doing that? you're careful in this section this part isn't that bad especially because the AI is dumb and it just walks the dudes into the blades in the ceiling <laughs> but if one of them hits you and you go flying you just get juggled around by all these fans and it can be terrible get out of here get out of here go away has an energy pick up in it. Yes. Alright. Oh, I thought it was supposed to fill your entire bar. Damn. That, that's kind of rude. Alright. Here he comes. I love the design of this guy because it makes absolutely no sense. Like, is, is that an oxygen tank? Is that a that's a weird looking gas tank on his back for his uh, chainsaw? But whatever. <laughs> he's wearing this apron like he's just been sawing people. 
Alright, I, I guess I fucked him up. <laughs> Such a crazy design. spoil it because people who aren't familiar with the game will think it's a cool detail. Uh, so actually I'm gonna save that. But uh, there's just something about this game that feels like a straight to video 80s like super cheap post-apocalyptic ninja movie. Like it just feels like something my dad would have rented from Blockbuster when he was a kid. Super catchy uh, music. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, damn you. those little invincibility frames when you're picking up something really heavy since that's kind of a slow animation oh fuck you motherfuckers when you're a sliver away from dying. Come on, fill that bar. Fill that health bar, please. Alright. Better than nothing. Which is where we were pretty much sitting at. Such a classic boss arena. Wall of CRTs. Oh, this guy sucks. I forgot about this guy. Sucks that he's invincible when he's up there. Just 
realizing... I forgot about this. Is this boss only damaged by special attacks? Oh no, you have to do that move to sort of break the seal. That's right. Sounds like I'm hitting this mofo, and he's not. a decent run for how rusty I am at this game right now. Start operation. Somebody hasn't just screen grabbed this building with these Miami Vice colors and the palm trees and just stolen that asset and used that? Like, someone please do that. Because that is so awesome. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. You're not invincible when you're picking up big shit. <laughs> little volley, look at that back and forth. version and the PC Engine version. scraping by right now. Yes! I was going to say, but I'm pretty sure. That was fun. That's how you know, I think, for this game, that they designed it to be hard. So they made sure, like, somebody who is really paying, it, paying attention and their uh, reflexes are good, They'll make it through, and these are the exact moments that um, they might need to replenish, like the little sliver they've lost from their health bar. Unlike me, where I'm like, oh, thank God, I was almost dead.
hard for me to go back and play beat em ups like Final Fight, um, like 16 bit era beat em ups when games like this exist because the combat is so much more varied and interesting. Like, it's so cool that they put in special moves. Because, um, I mean, I don't know, I feel like you would expect, I, I would expect more 16 uh, bit beat em ups to have, like, Inputs like Street Fighter style special moves. I just don't know why. I feel like yeah, I'm sure there's a game that does something like that. This one is definitely not as complicated as some Street Fighter moves might feel to players, but um, there's gotta be someone who did that and did a decent job. Am I right? <laughs> Chun Li. All right, this guy's a goofy looking dude. I feel like they made him look different in localization, perhaps. I don't remember. people need to know about this game. Alright, well, the good news is we can take a moment to play another character. Now, uh, Ninja is pretty tough, but he's real slow, and I don't think I'm going to do very well with him. So let's play him next. Um, because I'm not too bad with the third guy. Chucks. Shit, shit, I gotta dash, damn. I thought I could dash when I was holding that guy, but I guess I was wrong. promised. I'm not super good with Big Boy Ninja. Hey, what's up, 500 points? Welcome. Oh, dude, yeah. The, it's a very anime-styled laser attack, and it is very similar to the anime-styled laser attacks in uh, Breath of the Wild. Alright, let's play with the fast guy. I think there are six stages in this game, if I'm not mistaken. It would make sense that we get this gnarly difficulty spike here. So this guy's the prototype unfinished robot ninja. And he's pretty fast. down here. I 
know it's doable because I've solved I've solved this game tape once before. Just put it in uh, Greg terms. Fuck. Oh Jesus! I can't believe I walked into that. Yeah, I'm not remembering the strategy for this stupid boss. Maybe it's maybe the strategy is just to don't get your ass handed to you. That would be a good strategy. Yeah, all of the ninjas are robots. Like Kunoichi is the most human like looking robot. But that's what I was mentioning before when I said I didn't want to spoil the secret. Um, but I forgot that the one ninja and the other the non-female ninjas both look obviously like ro robots all the time, but in the original arcade version, I think they just looked like regular people and you didn't know they were robots until you died and their bodies exploded and you could see metal um, endoskeletons. Alright. Let's go classic. Let's see if I can remember what the hell to do about this bastard. Uh, I guess this guy just is invincible for a while or some shit. Oh, there we go. Now he's taking damage. <laughs> Fuck. I was trying to jump away, but I grabbed onto him. fight feels like a slog. You can have this. Have this motorcycle. I got it for you. This is a fun tune. This is one of those games where um, they start reintroducing 
bosses as just normal enemies, which is such a jerk move. <laughs> it's so discouraging. Like, oh, when I fought you, you were like kind of tricky and hard. that she fights with these giant like shuriken like daggers but she never throws them I guess it's not realistic to have a ninja that uh, can just throw an infinite amount of shurikens damn fucking die let's go back to our speedy boy to injury start me off where uh, full health refill is. I already need it. Oh, I guess it wasn't full health that time. That's interesting. Maybe that is randomized or maybe it changes based on how much health you do have.
you're so obnoxious. <laughs> start you off. They don't uh, make you start off at the oh shit, very beginning of each stage. confident with ninja but we're gonna give ninja a shot of Wild Guns and they added some new characters, it would be sweet if they gave this game the same treatment and added, um, you know, an extra couple whack wacky characters. Um, yeah, hitting a wall with this guy. As long as I can focus on 
keeping all the bad guys on the same side. Shit, which isn't going to be easy. Make things a little smoother. Shit, I was trying to backflip. You guys stay all over there for me. Should be, I updated it. Yeah, it's called Ninja Warriors. I thought I updated that. Alright. In Japan, it was called Ninja Warriors again because it's a sequel to the arcade game. That's a kind of an unusual flow to have an arcade game that had to have been popular because it's got a bunch of ports and then have the sequel be console exclusive. I can't think of other examples of that. Could not be an arcade game as well. Time to spawn help for this guy. Is that just Arn Jesus smiling upon us as I fucking kill him? Yes! I don't remember if this is the final stage or not. Right. Why is this guy not getting smashed? There we go. Trying to throw this guy, see if I can break anything. Yeah, I thought I could break those statues. Broke one of the screen. Oh, the bastard. I don't get wrecked this early in a stage. It's just embarrassing. I don't even remember 
this game having cheat codes because I only ever rented it as a kid. Um, let me know if there are any good ones, because if I truly hit a wall, fuck. And, uh... Can't make it through. I would love to see the ridiculous text at the end of this game. I don't remember what it says, but I feel like it's pretty decent. Although, um, this localized version definitely got all the text rewritten because Ninja Warriors again in Japan. I played the ROM for it. Um, the intro has English text, but it does not make sense, and it's awesome. Fuck. Red. her a shot. She's a little better at crowd control. I love how neon green those guys are. Their outfits are really great colors. I always loved finding sound test menus in games as a kid and just like listening to uh, certain games tunes. Sonic CD has a really, really good sound test. Uh, like whole sound section of that game hidden away. Another go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, what's up, Trevor Four? There's that daddy mulk. I always call that guy Daddy Mulk. Alright, not doing so hot. <laughs> This game gets real difficult by the end. Do some bounce back and forth kicks on these dudes' faces. Oh, already off to a great start. Damn. Four is a dear, dear friend of the Detroit Arcade Club, but he is not the person you think he is. He is not Travis. <laughs> I gotta take a screen cap of this. <laughs> Very nice. strategies for them. There we go. Stay on that side. No. try ninja even though I'm terrible with him I've gotten this far can't just give up now I'm about to die. No, damn. I was feeling better about that one. That's a very, very good question. How am I able to play anything else but Zelda? 
Um, I've been playing a lot of Zelda and a lot of Nier. Not as much Nier as I should be, or as I would like to, but, um, you know, it's like, uh, Logan's been playing Zelda on stream. I don't want this to just be the Zelda channel all the time, but when I'm done with this, I'm going to go play Nier or Zelda. <laughs> Excellent question. Just got to the end of the Divine Beast uh, Ruta, and I had to exit out of the fight at the end. Um, take care of the kiddo last night because he's had a nasty cough. And of course, like, you know, stopping and playing something for the fam is damn, I got wrecked there. It's never an issue at all. But uh, that is a heck of a place to have just exited a game with a quick save right before it. Right. Ooh, what do you think of... Um, I, I love Shovel Knight, and I really enjoyed Plague of Shadows, but I never um, finished it. But what do you think about Blaster Master Zero? because Blaster Master was always one of my faves. I still haven't picked up that um, WiiWare remake of Blaster Master, although this one looks to be a little less wacky, more of a straight version with like slightly upgraded graphics. I feel like it still looks pretty retro. I think that is available on 3DS as well, or if it isn't yet, it will be soon. I would totally play that on my 3DS until um, I get a Switch later this year. God damn, there's always one dude sliding in. From off screen trying to kick me. It sucks. days to a certain extent. Um, as long as it doesn't prevent you from making progress in the game. Because that's a game where, like, at least with the original, it's so easy to just hit the ground running and go if you know what to do. Which, over the years, I've forgotten oh, shit, a bunch of stuff about that game. It's fun. Glad to see that game get some uh, recognition too. I feel like I feel like people know about it, but maybe uh, didn't grow up playing it.
Oh man. Yeah, I was not super. I was pretty bad at the original two as a kid. Uh, and then a few years ago, when I had my I had like a little tiny RCA CRT with like fake wood veneer on the side. Um, I had it on this cool table upstairs uh, before we like baby proofed our house. Um, I had my NES plugged in all the time. I tried playing Blaster Master as a much more patient adult, and I got way farther than I ever did as a child. The problem became, though, that um, it doesn't tell you, I don't think, how many times you can continue. And so I got pretty far, and then I ran out of continues and just had to start over. It was like title screen. Like, no! Definitely spoiled by games that um, will let you keep continuing like this one which I'm thankful for unless I'm gonna run out <laughs> there's also a possibility up games in arcades. I just thought it was the funniest thing. It's like, ha ha, I can't even see you and I'm still kicking your butt. Funny feeling. Ronald McDonald up in, up in here. soundtrack and I'm happy that it is helping you blast through your work although I'm sorry to say I probably don't have too many more attempts in me I'm gonna try to turn in to bed a little earlier than normal I'm thinking I was gonna play some near Zelda but sleep is important god I'm getting wrecked get out of here I 
hate that you have to fight other enemies in the middle of this shit. It's so cheap. Dead. Yeah, the intro music is super good. I love the um, classic Ninja Warriors theme song. The uh, Zuntata, there I think are a couple Zuntata versions of it uh, on YouTube, and they're all super, super good, super catchy. guys from the corner over here. This guy won't come close to me, but he wants to jump on me. Alright. Better health situation, I suppose. so hard. Love is designed, but this is just not my guy. super plays of this game where people just breeze through it so effortlessly. It's pretty impressive.
does something on wake up. I have to remember not to stand next to it when he gets up. I guess I just need to fucking block more. I always forget that that's uh, incredibly useful and effective in this game. about this this is feeling unachievable at the moment This is the normal difficulty setting, and then there is a hard difficulty setting above it.
feels. That's pretty good. another um, subtle, more subtle regional difference is that uh, in Ninja Warriors again um, when you hit enemies they spray blood but I think it's green? I can't remember. So I guess everybody's just a mutant with mutant blood. Alright, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. I believe this is the final area, though. Maybe I shouldn't have gone left. It just seemed like an unusual way to go. In a game where you always go right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, I've been playing almost nothing but Near and Breath of the Wild lately which are games that you can't really blow through, so it's nice to be able to not play one of those for a minute and play something a little more straightforward and short. sort of do dash attacks, but I wish I could just double tap forward. there's just something at play that I'm not remembering, but with pretty much all the bosses except the first guy, they seem invincible until you reach a certain point, and I wonder if you just need to, like, hit them with a couple solid combos, and they have, you know, invisible health that you have to deplete, or what?
that's a little more focus, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> secret base we were never meant to discover all right come on throw me a throw me a health bone here damn it damn it damn it bastard <laughs> confrontation basically just and you know what I, I gotta look this up and see if this came out first or if turtles in time came out first because somebody ripped somebody off here because this is like an inverse of the shredder boss where in turtles in time you throw bad guys into the foreground to damage him in this game we're gonna throw bad guys bad guys into the background to damage him which I need to be over here with you. Damn it. Forgot about those stupid laser gates. Fuck. He thinks it's so funny too. Ah! 
it's a lot easier to uh, throw guys as Kunoichi. <laughs> Die though. Don't die. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> that Shredder fight was so cool, man. I remember the first time I saw that in an arcade as a kid. I remember thinking something like, You can't throw a bad guy at the camera in a game like that's just not even possible you can't throw someone in the front it just totally blew my mind so to get that game and have that for um super nintendo i was so excited and so happy because that was the coolest move i'd ever seen in a video game um up to that um, like before that i would never seen anything like that in the game <laughs> that's that's a great anecdote, Trevo4. He says, My house was very SNES versus Genesis, but when my brother saw that boss fight, he was like, quote, Okay, the SNES is pretty cool, too. <laughs> Genesis definitely does have some games that are graphically insane for that system. Like the whole wireframe... Um, opening like level sequences from uh, Ranger X. I think I saw those before I ever saw Star Fox, so that was pretty mind blowing to me at the time. I don't know if that energy tank disappears if you don't pick it up right away. I do know that you can walk past to the next screen and miss it. So, like in other games, if I knew, if I know the drop isn't going to vanish, I'd probably like try to just let it sit there for the whole fight and not touch it until the end. All right. There we go. That's a better start.
robots. The robots make everything so complicated. hard for that yeah, to die like that. Alright. I'm giving myself 13 minutes to get through this fight. I think we can do it. Cheese that part, but whatever. Try Ninja. I was thinking about it. I'm just gonna bounce back and forth between these two. Not being able to jump makes this incredibly difficult for me. Playing Ninja. Did 
actually pretty hard to do it with this guy because you have to be on the opposite side and throw it backwards. Oh, that didn't count. Guy, I don't think. Oh, kicking them works. Oh, okay. That reaches from this corner. Oh, fuck. stop hearing a Zelda tune in this music. Hmm. I'm not sure I hear it, but I'll have to listen again if we don't beat this guy this time. There we go. Get those hits in. Each round. It's the most shattered his glasses looked yet. <laughs>
Love the animation on this dude's punches. I think once you break the glass, his meter starts to deplete. Alright, can't believe I'm going to do this, but we're going to try the ninja that I'm bad with. Better than I thought I would with that ninja, but it's not working. Alright, Kunoichi. Release us from this purgatorial boss fight.
because you have to flip them up the opposite side. Like it feels cheap, but standing in the corner and kicking guys into him seems like the most reasonable strategy for trying to beat this tonight. So I swear I'm trying to throw these guys up, but she's dashing forward. Sloppy inputs on my part. Giving it one more shot. strategy and stop trying to throw these guys backwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Sloppy start. Uh oh. Didn't think we were ever going to do it. We humiliated the bastard.
guess what? We were a suicide mission robot. Ah! So sick. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Banglar was defeated by the three androids. It was a great victory for the opposition forces. Several months later, Mulk became the new president. A new government replaced the old regime. The circuitry which allowed the androids to think for themselves was not yet fully developed. They were programmed to self-destruct to avoid any danger. The development of the androids progressed under Mulk's government. These powerful weapons became far stronger than Banglar's old forces. And the people realizing this said, some things never change. <laughs> I know, right? Why wouldn't you just blow yourself up the moment that dude is running to get in his crazy pod? Super good game. Yeah, the guy who built the uh, heroic robots is Daddy Mulk. He's their daddy. Yep. Yeah, that Daddy Mulk theme is so awesome. Natsume, I love you. The 16-bit era Natsume was so good. If someone from Natsume is watching this, please give this game the Wild Guns treatment. That would be the best. That would be so cool. Also, I can finish this game and I can't finish Wild Guns because it's too hard. <laughs> Not that I played this one particularly um, eloquently, but that was pretty fun. I've always loved this game. I've always loved this intro so much. It's so grindhouse. Grindhouse. -y. <coughs> if you're not familiar, like I mentioned before, look up the... Um, Super Famicom version of this game because the intro, uh, the non localized intro, is pretty amazing. <coughs> the untested androids had to be used. as a kid loving intros to 16-bit games and I thought this was the end I was like okay here comes the title screen wait there's more and the slow reveal of the title is so good tell this was a labor of love someone was like we gotta have this decadent intro now what's real interesting about this title screen is you see that huge gap of space that makes no sense this game in japan was called the ninja warriors again and in big black letters with neon green outline it used to say again where that blue space is um now it's just a big open spot so I guess uh, Ninja Warriors was not popular or known in North America, and so they were like, this is a weird way to name a sequel, but also nobody knows that this is the Ninja Warriors again, so we'll just call it Ninja Warriors. All right, once again, 
I'm Chris. This is Detroit Arcade Club. Um, we have a schedule of cool shit happening. I think Ben is playing some Gungeon later this week, and of course there will be a Thursday night stream, and um, Logan will be playing more Switch stuff. He played um, Snipper Clips with his daughter earlier, and that was amazing. I guess that was yesterday. I can't remember. The days all blend together. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody.